Hello, this is Benoit Baudouin, the president of Made Lab. My goal is uh, for the next five minutes to present you a way to uh, use uh, the 3D drawings that you will find on our website. So, uh, to access these uh, 3D drawings, you can go in products and select any one of these here or the accessories, or you can go straight for those that we have here. Let's uh, use the Volcac RT as the prime example here. If we go down, you see images of what it will look like on your computer. So if you click on it, it will download the zip file. Once it's downloaded, if you click on it, it will open and you will see there are three files in it. That's the drawing file, the biggest one, and the other one is the readme file. The first time you will use this software, you will need to open the readme file and find this element here, the link to the e-drawing software, which is the presentation software. So that's all I need here. I will reduce this one and I will go there and go for that software. Once I get to that software, you have the download e-drawing viewer and uh, you will select for Windows and uh, SolidWorks document, that's what you want, and you click download and you install the software. After it's downloaded, let's go back to where I was before. You'll have this. After it's downloaded, you can go and open it straight this way. The e-drawing software will open and you will be able to see what you have downloaded in it. I suggest that you download all the files on your computer so that if you're in front of a, uh, of a customer and you would like to present a, an accessory or another product that you don't have with you, you could do it straight on your computer. So uh, if you don't want to see any kind of distortion in the image, because that's what it looks like when you look at it this way, you just have to go to click here and there. Okay. By the way, this software is also available for your iPhone and you, uh, your Android phone and tablet. Uh, I think it, they charge like two dollars and fifty cents for it, so it's just uh, it's really nothing. So uh, as you can see, you can turn the instrument different ways. If you absolutely want to see how it's made inside and that's your your thing, you can go and uh, click on it and right click and say make transparent or hide if you want to, and you will be able to see how it's made inside the instrument. Of course, it's more populated than that inside the instrument, but it gives an idea. And you can go back to make solid. If you uh, absolutely want to uh, make things in parts, just explode it, and it will be all in a bunch of you know <laughs> little things here. And just put it back together. So when you do a presentation, the way the mouse is used, when you press on the wheel, you can move it this way. If you turn the wheel, you zoom in and zoom out. Or if for any reason you are stuck with your trackpad on your laptop, which <laughs> happens to me and to everyone, just click on those here and the left mouse button can be used to do that. Okay, And you can use this one to zoom in and to zoom out. And if for any reason at some point you made an error and you just lost the part, you don't know where that part is. For example, it's gone. Where is it? You know, I don't know press on this one here and it will just go back right to full screen. If you want to present something in from the top or any other ways that's a way to do it and there's also a way to make this uh, to animate the uh, the instrument just press on play so if you want to use this uh, when you're uh, in a, a show or something like this you can use it this way to present the product while you're talking okay so uh, of course there's nothing like having it in your hand to show how small that thing is uh, but it's very practical anyway that gives you an idea on how to use it me every time i do a web presentation i always use this software and I always use whatever is on our website so that uh, what i had just showed to my customer he can repeat it okay so that concluded have a great day and if you have any questions about that please just call me back